rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And back to Chinatown again. They don't, you don't see no arrogance when you walk into Chinatown, do you? You don't see well, no you know what? Go ahead and make you be son. Go ahead, Jim. Let me say this too, you know, and I like what you're saying, Brother Jackson, but too, you know what? And sometimes because a particular group is is looked down upon or 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 has a negative images now that the way people are about certain things, like now even Christianity sometimes people say negative stuff about you, you weak or you because you couldn't do nothing else. Now you want to rely on God or so mm -hmm. on and so forth. You know, I've known people say to speak that was from Puerto Rico or whatever, whatever. They spend their whole lives trying to make their accent disappear. They spend their whole lives trying to make sure that there's nothing about where they're from is obvious to you so that they can melt in and blend in as if that's not who they are yeah. by heritage. Yeah. And I think sometimes even as Christians, because now of the, the world and the outlook about that and the way they come about against us, sometimes we spend everything we do trying to act like them and look like them so that they won't even know who we are. They won't have no idea that that's what we represent. And I think it's, and I just think it's shameful that, 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 that they come here with a heritage and they spend their whole lives trying to make it disappear so that now they're accepted by this new land that yeah. they're in. And I, and, I, and I often look at some of them thinking, why are you trying your best to, to, to not appear who you are and your heritage and where you from? That, to me, that makes no sense. I just don't understand that. But again, sometimes the pressures and the world and what, and what the world kind of taunts and believes mm -hmm. in and wants to extol kind of causes you to say, well, well, that's not really looked on in a good way. So I'm going to make sure they don't think that's what I am. And I, and I just think that's a disgrace to their heritage and where they're from. Let me, let me say something about that. That's a great thing. So, so when you go in the bathroom in the morning and you look at the music, whatever you do, do you embrace what you see? Mm. Okay, we freshen up a little bit. <laughs> there you go. I mean, do you accept? Or a lot. <laughs> do you accept what God has created when you look at yourself? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you see, see, one of the things that we do, we're so shallow people. You see, it's so easy to have a form of God. Come mm. on now. The church has done a marvelous job of creating a form of God. Yes, sir. Come on. But you see, until you can look in the mirror and rejoice because you realize that what you're looking at wasn't, wasn't from a request. It wasn't because you, 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 you wanted to look a certain way. Come on. When God brought you here, he didn't insult you. He put you in the family he wanted you to be in, in the country he wanted you to be in, in the language he wanted you to be in and the house they want you to be in, and the body they want you to be in. Hmm. When you come to realize that you're looking at what God has created, come on. you can accept that and rejoice in that, hmm. then you don't let other folks make you start trying to change stuff. Come on now. <laughs> Bless you. See, that's, that's what I call the identity crisis. See, see, for young kids, it's the identity crisis. The only yes, thing you start trying to change the way you talk is because you don't like the way you talk. Yes, yes. sir. Uh-huh. Okay, and what God is trying to get us to understand is, listen, I created you. Mm. Now, and listen, so when you start trying to change stuff, what you're actually doing is making a statement to God about, about the quality of his work. Woo! Uh-oh. -uh. Whoa! <laughs> there, there, there is. For the time when it was not popular to be dark-skinned in there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's before y'all time, you see. <laughs> that back there, uh, everybody, my skin was the thing. Being dark skin as African American, was, there, there was no such thing. <laughs> and there was pressure on you to try to look like everybody else. Yeah. We, we all go through that stuff. And I look back on that now, and I, I mock that and laugh at that because I realized that because you didn't like who you were. Wow. 
Wow. But in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, we become a new creature. Mm. And the only, listen, all God want to work with is what he created you to be. Yes. He don't want to work with none of that stuff you're trying to fabricate. Mm. 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 I feel compelled, if I can, I feel really compelled to bring out a, Jesus Christ taught us in the spirit. He said the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. So his conversation with us and his instruction on us basically dealt with our spiritual configuration. Yes, sir. Uh, our initial, what can I say, I, I, when, he, when he reconciled us with the Father, it was a spiritual reconciliation. Uh -huh. Physically, hopefully, if the, when the Spirit begins to take dominance, when we're strong enough from the Spirit to where we're dominating our, our external, external appearance, that's going to be made evident as well. And it's not kind of indicated that there's a spirit that gives life to the body of flesh, probably nothing. Yeah. But at some point in it, he show, he focuses more on our spiritual growth than he does on our physical attributes. Yes, sir. So we become spiritually made in his image. Yes, sir. And that was so much because when he walked with the guys, remember when he was resurrected, they said they couldn't recognize him physically. No. They didn't know who he was when he was walking with them. Come on, but man. when he left them, they said, "Didn't our spirits burn within us?" Yes, hey, sir. We just that was just that was him. Yes, sir. And, and I think that that, that is where uh, for us when when when, uh, when, when P. Lee was saying just a second ago that we are embarrassed by it. Mm. We are embarrassed when we submit to the will of God mm. because to turn the other cheek in the world system is punkish you know what i'm saying it's like mm, that don't show strength you can't be an alpha dog by turning the other cheek you know? and, yeah. and, and we come in conflict with ourselves we come in conflict with and i say this because i felt that i felt uh we come in conflict with our women mm.